Welcome back guys, Deck Knight on the Rocks, Inside Edition. Weather is just not agreeing with us, so maybe it was a bad plan to be Deck Knight for a year-round, four-weather type of city that we live in. But uh, anyway, we'll make it work. We're inside. Tonight we're getting, or today, we're hitting Old Weller Antique 107. Yeah. Get back with y'all in just a second. <laughs> Alright guys, we're back. Do our Weller Antique 107. I don't know what to say. It's Weller. It's 107. It's antique. It's the it's red be label. Good. I mean, we enjoyed the special. Wait, 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 we gotta say hi. Okay. I'm Homer. I'm Amy. No Lexi today. No Lexi. It's just us. So uh, she would tell us to tell you to like, subscribe, hit the bell, comment, and share. Sharing is very important. Sharing is caring. Must care and share. <laughs> we need to be shared. We love to be shared. Please share us. Uh, share us with your friends and families. But let's drink first. All right. So Weller Antique 107. Everybody knows about Weller Antique 107. Um, we got this one from for trade. Traded um, uh, 112, six year for it. Again, I know we've talked about it before, but comment below about what you think about the trade. If it was a good trade, if you never had water in Australia, you should try it, it's really good stuff. We do like them in Australia. So, Weller Antique 107. Let's go ahead and pop it, and we'll sniff it and fill that stuff I while I read. You this doesn't it. look like a cork, though. Are they all corks? No, they're not. Not all the Wellers are corks. That's not a cork. That is a piece of tin. Why are you holding I'm just it? just helping. Oh, so lame. You try. Lame pop. That's better. All right, so let's uh, pour it and get a start here. Let's nose it. Just go ahead and get right into it. Ain't no reason to talk. I think he told me to shut up. No, I'll tell myself to shut up. All right, guys, we all know this Ooh, is a... That smells so good. Oh, this is, oh my goodness. Just that's him... probably the best smelling one. Oh, that smells so good. A little snotty today. I'm not getting anything. Really? That's like a, um, almost like a caramel apple. Well, it's a weeder, so it would definitely be a sweeter. A weeder, sweeter. Oh, that smells really good. Can you go get me the other Weller? Right behind you. Can you go get anything? That is, I would, I would make a candle. Can we do that? I'm sure we can. That'd be kind of a waste of bourbon, though. Buffalo Trace makes candles. With the Weller? I know, I don't know. It's just Buffalo Trace. I can't smell this. Oop. Looks like we just jumped into a comparison video. Oh, sorry. Might as well just pour the rest. Yeah, we can put one down. Put one down. Wherever it goes. We're going to do the put one down dance. All right, so. Okay, so that doesn't. Doesn't smell like that. Mm -mm. And why is this antique? Because it's. I don't know why they call it antique, but the 107 mean it's means it's 107 proof. This is only 90 proof. Oh yeah, that definitely smells better. 107 smells better. Which one is that? That's just what we. Are did. you sure? Yes. So now we've gotten to a comparison. That smells so good. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and... Yes. So nose. Go with the nose. All right. Nose is aromas of lush, dark fruit burst forth from the glass combined with vanilla and caramel. There's a healthy dose of seasoned oak, which provides dimension. Finally, it's punctuated with a pop of cinnamon bark spice, traces of black licorice, and is balanced, complex, and well-developed. That smells so good. Okay, so I'm going into the taste buds. So, Weller is a weeded bourbon originally created by Stitzelweller Distilling Company. The brand is named after William LaRue Weller, distiller who credited it by some as being the first to use wheat as a secondary grain and straight bourbon as a purpose to more commonly used rye. That's good. That's oh, you good. get you're getting the the flavors, the oh. notes that you smell, you're getting it in your mouth. Like it is all over. Wow, that is good. Try it. So, um 
you might like this history. A little history for you guys. First try. Okay. It's good. That is so good. All right, here's a little history. Notably, William LaRue Weller hired the famous Julian Van Winkle, who would later be known as Pappy Van Winkle, began his career working for Weller. Weller passed in 1899. Coincidentally, his company W.L. Weller & Sons later merged to the APH Stitzel Distillery, which was owned by his former employee, Julian Pappy Van Winkle. The companies worked together through Prohibition, operating under a medicinal license, and eventually became the Stitzel Weller Distillery and Company in 1935. Who now does Blade & Bow? All right. I don't like Blade & Bow. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so, so palate. The first thing I noticed is how full-bodied and oily the bourbon feels. Oily, we think. Oh, it is definitely, yeah. It's got a long coat. Oh, yeah, it does. Oh, nice color to I it. don't taste it oily in my mouth, though. No. The bourbon feels rolling around in my mouth, oily. Very mouth. much so. <sighs> We're in the nose. <sighs> Cinnamon spice grips the taste buds. Agreed. Followed by cherries, dark Agreed. fruits, raw sugars, and aged oak. I 100% agree with that. That's a good one. That is real good. It's got a good quality of, of covering all the sweetness. It's everything you smell. And then in it comes, it, 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 it's, it has good sweetness, but then finishes with a nice, like, traditional bourbon taste. The proof is quite manageable and arguably a bit understated as the flavors really take charge versus any sign of heat. I like that. I, I have some heat, though. Yeah, it's little, though. It's, a, it's enjoyable heat. It's like when people put way too much hot sauce on their food. It's like all you taste is the, is the burn. And but I it's a nice, even it's heat. It's a nice, even. Because I can do it on my tip and my middle and my back, but with ease, and it goes down and goes away. Yeah, so it's got a nice burn and not a oh, kick in the nuts good. burn. All right, this combination of a rich, heavy mouthfeel and cinnamon against dark fruit and oak is as pleasing as it is delicious. I'm, I agree. I don't like the word delicious when you talk about bourbon, but I do agree with Why? it. I don't know. I just find it silly because some people are just like, it's so delicious. And That's they say delicious. It so much. Like every bourbon site that talks about bourbon is like, the maybe delicious goes with bourbon. I just don't think it does. I don't think that delicious goes with bourbon, I think but delicious this is, is delicious. Mm, yeah. All right, finish. A crescendo of cinnamon spice introduces the finish. The sweeter notes of caramel vanilla follow. The flavor akin to tobacco hints in the background, though it's subtle and hard to pinpoint. The undercurrent of cinnamon remains throughout and then lingers. Quite pleasant. It is I don't quite pleasant. actually think anything lingers. Once it's gone, it's gone. I, uh, I like like it. I almost forget what it tastes like, so I need more. I think it's quite pleasant. I do think it's quite pleasant and delicious. All right. That's pretty good. So, okay. It is pretty good. I do some water. Do the water if you're going to do. Do water with the special reserve. Does antique make it older? No. So why do I don't they say understand antique? Why they say because antique it's from an old guy? I mean, they're all, I don't know. If anybody knows why they call it antique, give us a comment below. We appreciate it. Okay. That's water. I did. I, I no, thought it was you, water. You were doing like. I was getting it all out of my mouth. Okay. So, special reserve. We liked the special reserve when we drank it last time. It, it did. We did. We really enjoyed it. I still like it. It is not as punctual. It's coming up to mine. I don't know why. It has a, it's good, but it's not, like, this is full and rich. I like the special reserve, don't get me wrong. But when you drink this one and this one, this one's bland. I don't think it's bland. It's just, this is very rich. No, yeah, so. Makes it's this, like a it very makes, good dessert It makes wine. this bland. Wine. Wine. This makes it bland. Like, cause this right here has such pronounced flavors. Mm -hmm. When you drink them together, it makes this one not flavorful. So, I would think... It's still good. So, do we have an, a different Weller? Nope. We don't have any of the other Wellers because they're impossibly hard to find. And a I'm regular not, Weller? And I'm, not, I'm not paying. There is no rate. This is the regular Weller. So, that one's first? Basically. That's the lowest. Basic. Then the next one. And then you got foolproof 12 year CYBP. Man, single I would barrel. love to try that. Because if those are. Well, we've the... tried foolproof. Remember we paid $90 for a shot of it? No. At the vault? Oh, yes. But we really liked it. So I'm a Weller fan. I, well, I think it's the best wheat one out there. Everybody talks about, you know, 
we the the what we I like this the, the, special the, reserve the, too. The Weller killer. Like what what replaces Weller or Pappy Van Winkle? Never try well we've tried a one being Winkle, but you know, um uh, the Larceny, not good compared to the Weller. Uh the weeded wilderness trout, which I enjoy, is not as good as the Weller. Uh Maker's Mark, not even close. Um I can't think of any other weeds off the top of my head, so we're gonna go ahead and just move on. Castle Key? Not weeded. Castle oh, we Key have, is no, weeded. We just bought a weeded. And we tried it. Yeah, I don't remember. So I'm definitely a Weller's fan, big yeah. time. That would be for my steak, and this would be for my dessert without a dessert because that fulfills it. That's good. Let's it put is it very on some good. Ice and see. All right. Ice. It was really good on on neat. I could neat this one. Did both the Wellers? I Definitely drink neat a neat one. Because for me. I, you guys know, I don't like bourbon on neat. And I tell you, these both of these are definitely. I guess I should drink it and not spill it. Um, are ones that I could drink neat. Yeah, and he's def he doesn't like it neat. So if well, he... it's not that I don't like it, I just prefer it on the rocks. Okay, so again, we don't like. Our ice melted. Nope. We just like it a little chilled. I which, don't like having the water in it. Which uh, tells you, oh yeah, I leave it oh, Excuse me. Which tells you that we should probably, which we've talked about and we haven't done yet, get some of the stones or the metal that you freeze and then yeah. put in the ice. Yeah. Because we definitely, once it's watered, it's just, it's yeah. once it's got a little water in it, it's it's it's, much. it's ruined. I but we it. tend to drink our bourbon pretty fast, so. Um, <laughs> We're supposed to. No, we're not. I think it's supposed to be a sipping. But bourbon. we never. We do better if it's neat, though. We never sipped on wine either, did we? No. <laughs> wine was bad. I, I do mean, like some wine, though. When I drink beer, I drink a case at a time. I hate beer. Yeah. Better I or neat. better neat? Yeah. Really? It's still good. It's just the the ice kind of takes the flavor that you're getting. There's just no flavor now. Oh yeah, it's, it's dulled it down. Yeah. 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 I don't know. It's definitely. Uh, yeah, that's a neat one. I think Weller's a neat bourbon. I mean, Check. maybe the foolproof might need to be. Uh, but we uh, don't have foolproof. No, we don't have a foolproof because it's impossible to find it. I'm not paying six hundred dollars a bottle for it. So if anybody has one and wants to sell us at retail or close, let us know. We'll buy. But retail could be anything. Uh, retail for if it's a full, retail, that retail means for they're full proof is like ninety nine dollars, I think. Oh really? Yeah. And they sell it for how much? Six hundred. No. Or a thousand. No. Yes. And we paid a hundred dollars for a shot, on accident, because they didn't have the price on the menu. And you know how they say, if you have to ask the price, you can't afford it. I didn't think it was gonna be ninety dollars. <laughs> so we went to the vault downtown knoxville and if you haven't been to knoxville and you come to knoxville first of all look us up so we can come join you if but, you're cool if you're not cool then don't call us yeah but anyways <laughs> if you think you're cool if you don't think you're cool you don't know which you are just call us we'll let you know so the vault what is the um restaurant know. upstairs it's know. a downstairs it's newer about, it's a, about two a year a year or two yeah. yeah it's downstairs and it's like a speakeasy Leather couches, dark, dim. It's an old bank, and it has a vault that they keep their liquor Yeah, in. but there's a restaurant upstairs with yeah. the purple velvet couches upstairs, That's and everybody cool. loves it. That's cool. Is it blue or purple? I think it's blue. Yeah, but both places are awesome. The food is awesome. Very, very extraordinary expensive, but very, very good. good experience. Yeah. Sometimes it's Always have it. to try something. Yeah. Um, but yeah, go there, and make sure you ask the prices. Yeah, because... Um, after you go there, you got to go to the Peter Kern Library, and if you want to try any bourbon under the sun that you can't find, they have them all. They have every bit of every it. Every damn bourbon, every But B-tech, it's going to cost you Every some. B-Tech, every Colonel Taylor. And we got lucky, every actually. Every Pappy Van Winkle. We went to a um, Kern's Library. What, it's the, what's the restaurant Oliver called? Oliver Royale. Oliver Royale is the restaurant above them, and, and here in the is hotel. an opportunity for us not to tell you a story, but to say this. Watch our previous video. I don't know what you want me to say. What video did we do? Where did we go, what did we go there for? Y'all know that I drink. 
Castle and Key. Watch our Castle and Key video. It's all on there. So I will. Actually... How many videos is past? You guys know that I don't watch our videos. I hate watching me. And the one time that I did watch me, I keep messing with my teeth. <laughs> I keep going. So every time I think, I'm making sure that I don't mess with my teeth. So um, she's got pretty teeth. Mm, now I have an Invisalign going on, guys. So anyway, um, I'll put a link in the, down here in the um, description. For you to go to the castle and key. I'll put it in one of these little tags. Are you going to remember the, that? Maybe. I doubt it. He's not going to remember Well, I'll that. watch the video when I edit it so I'll hear me say it. Or at the end, the end screen. Or something. We'll put it somewhere. Or or you can just go to our page since you like and subscribe. And it'll be there. So go watch the castle and key video and you'll get that story about Peter Kern Library. Did I mess something up? Hopefully you got all that. Is it not on? Guys, this is what happens when we drink. You can push a button. Is it still green? Yes, it's All right. green. We, still, we, we just got these things. So the first two that we used them, it was rubbing on my neck the whole time, and it made a horrible noise, so hopefully it's not doing it this time. Anyhow, Weller. That's what the video's about. Weller. I say neat. Don't I, put it on ice. I agree. It takes away. Look. We're almost done. See what happens when you put it on ice? It's like water. You're drinking a special reserve. I know. Can we put it back in the bottle? No. It's not. You as, can just put it in here. What What does it taste like? Mix. It's definitely not as good as the 107. This is what happens Ooh. when you mix it. Ooh, can we come up with our own bourbon? No, but we need to do a mixed video because we still need to do a 1915. It's a 1915. A 1910 old and a 1920. Yep. I like me some old Forester. But we're not doing old Forester. That you said 1910, 1915 is old Forester. It is, but we're not doing that right now. We're doing. Okay, so on my list of favorites is Weller now. You want to put that on a top five? Yes, 100. Like, who are we bumping? Ooh, old Elk. Old Elk. Old a weeded. Elk. Old Elk's a weeded. Is that weeded better than this weeded? Yeah. So I'll this go is with Weller. Better than Old Elk. I don't remember what old elk It's been a while. Like. It's been a while. So, um, Weller's on my top five. Top five. So, so Rare it's Breed. Old Forester, 1910. Rare Breed. Always. But that's rare not breed. Okay, one, Rare Breed has always been my number one. I don't think anybody can top it. Rare Breed might be second. Okay. 1910. I love the Chattanooga. Uh, the bottle and bond. Bottle and bond. I almost bought another bottle today. And what was my other one. one? There's so many up there. No, I had another one. I, I, know I, you did. I do like Castle and Key, but I don't know if it fits in. So rare breed. Rare breed. Weller. Weller. 1910. 1910. What did I just say? Oh, Chattanooga. Chattanooga. I don't know. And I like Blue, um, Blue, Blue Run. Run. Yeah. Mm. Even though they spurned us. Oh, my gosh. Did you guys try to get in the Blue Run? The flight series? Oh, my gosh. So. 15 seconds. Big deal. 15 seconds. It took me to enter the information. And, and we had two out. phones out. And so they were putting out the new Blue flight Run. Flight series. Flight series. Uh, it was on, um, it was a good price. Oh, it, was, it was 99 bucks. It was $99. It was a new one. We have the rest of them. We have three of them. How many are there? Like 20. Oh, I don't like when they do that. Is it like a different year? No, they're I different kinds. I need to educate kinds. myself. They're different kinds. But I, I, I like say 20, I'm exaggerating. I think it was 12. I really think it was 12. Okay. Well, I like all the blue rinds. That we've tried. Yeah. yeah, that we've tried. It's one of my favorites. And we have a butterfly obsession because of us. But anyways, so um, we had both phones together so that one of us can get one and there was another one there we could two get. two of them coming out at the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, we were... 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Sold all out. sold out. And then we looked at the comments on everybody else. All sold out. Nobody got any. So Blue Run, we like your bourbon, but... Who'd you sell it to? Who'd you sell it to previously? Nobody got any. I guarantee you. Nobody who actually... Got on there, got any? Unless no. you're that popular. There was like, is are, is bourbon that big of a deal? I mean, there's some people that say they got some, but it was very few. And then I am seeing on Instagram and Twitter where all the names, just like I predicted, 
Oh, they all got one. Who's the names? Uh, all the big web, all the big pages like this that have 50,000 subscribers. I mean, good for them because then they get to say it and well, I mean, do it. I mean, think about They get to say so They probably have the person tell them, let's do, I need you to say this and this and this. So let's put it on. Let's put it on. And we're getting along, getting oh, along here. So okay. let's just say this real quick because this is a Buffalo Trace product. Let's talk about Buffalo Trace. Let's, talk, let's put it on the same as the same level as Blue Run. Why True. would Blue Run want you and I to get it when we have 165 subscribers? Hey, guys, help us out with that. We can get more. Maybe we can get some bourbon. Um, We're just having fun. So why would they want us to get it whenever someone with 50,000 or 100,000 subscribers can get it and they can make a video and help I us? I get it. But why the hell? See, I also don't get that because what's it matter? What's it matter if they market Because they're going to sell more. Hold on. What's it matter if they market it for them? If it's never freaking available. Well, that's true. I mean, it's not like Weller or Buffalo because Trace needs to market their shit because it's never available. Well, no. So Buffalo Trace is like an Apple product. You have to keep going after it. I get it. But what I'm saying is why worry about marketing when if you, you can't, can't produce enough of it for the common person to go buy it on the shelf? True. I, I mean, why but spend money on marketing I when you're already Buffalo selling Trace every product you have? I think better at that. Well, they are. But my point is with everybody, all these people back here. What's the point of spending marketing money when you cannot produce enough of it to sell it at the rate it's desired? I think that way you can market up more because if you oh, can't so get it, I, I'll get you. you gotta put it. But see, you none, can of mark was, it up. none of them. But are then, would you it. rather have a thousand, a hundred dollars, or is, would you rather have twenty of the? I don't know. See, the thing is, is they're not marketing it. All they're doing is helping the secondary market. They're still selling it. Whoever gets it gets it for ninety nine bucks from them, and then they turn around. They turn around and sell it for two or three hundred. Maybe they just that's what they want. I, I don't know. know. Who knows? Someone. Hey, if you guys have any insight on how this, how this shit works, you do now. No, I don't drink regular Buffalo Trace. I don't like Eagle Rare. Buff I don't like Blands. I mean Buffalo Trace. Well, it's good. If it's good, it's good. I'm I'm sorry. I'm good. I, they know but I do, I do love the story of Buffalo Trace. I loved their distillery. It was a wonderful, wonderful experience. They definitely did out. So I think that if um, you've got the means, well, go for it. Would all, you? All I got to say is, I guess you just like the weeded product that Buffalo Trace makes. Is or, that weeded and this yeah, is weeded? Yeah, all wellers are weeded, just like Maker's Mark. They're all weeded. Well, I don't like Maker's Mark. No, but it's not Buffalo Trace. It's Maker's Mark. But I do like rare breed. It's not weeded. That's not weed. No. That's more of a rye, but it's there a is a rye rare breed. Yeah, there. But rare breed. Okay, how much is rare breed? Rare breed is actually only like 15% rye. Well, it's my one. It's nobody has ever conquered that for me. Yeah, I agree. I like it too. It's one of my favorites. But All I right. really think this one in second. So we are probably like 25 minutes into this. Yeah, nobody wants to watch this anymore. 107, and we have talked about it for like 10. Oh, so, nice bottle. Anyway, we enjoy it. It's a good. We you know we we keep forgetting to talk about the bottle. It's a cool I think it's, bottle. I think it's. I like that. But is that a different it's bottle? It's the same bottle, except for this is a cork and that's a screw top, which I don't understand why they would do any of them in a screw top. Uh, maybe because... It's cheaper. It's cheaper. But I think the 12-year is a damn screw top. Oh. Which is silly. But anyway, let's look at this. This is like a... I can understand why you put a screw on, like, the your low end. I don't think you should put a screw on any bourbon. Mm. But anyway, I like it because it's got, like, the old Western-style bottle with that little swollen neck. I think it's cool. I like it. I like the bottle. It's not Here's the your shoulders shoulders. It's the same thing. It's not the truth. It's not the same old it's boring like one. Yes, it's a good whole damn bottle. Yeah. But it's not like the boring old straight wine bottle, and it's it's kind of got a little character, and they stick with a little tradition. I don't know. I like it. Anyway, we've been talking about this for a while, and you guys don't want to listen to us forever. We'll just make another video later. You can watch. Anyway, so uh, old Weller Antique One Hundred Seven. It is good. Oh, good that neat. is so good. Good. It's good neat. So good. Better. Yeah. Weller, I like it. I like it. All right. Good stuff? Yeah. Bye. Bye. Hold on. Back up. Like, subscribe, comment, share. We already did that. Comment, share, Ding. hit the bell, comment. all that stuff. We gotta make, just drink. You got to make Lexi proud. Just make sure you drink. And then like, subscribe, hit the bell, share, and comment. Oh, don't overdo it. You have to do it. All right. Bye. Oh.